May it please the court, your honor. Before you is Mr. Deshaun Chandler. This is warrant numbers 2023A45-101-002-77-278-79-80-81-82-83-84-85-86-87-88-89-90-91-92-93-94-95-96-97-98-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99-99
He kept saying no, 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 and tried to shield himself with his hand. He held his hands up, and that's when Mr. Chandler ran off. Yes, sir, Your Honor. But there's also the second part in regards to the grand larceny. On that same day, Winsboro County officers had to respond to 237 old in the King Street area in reference to a stolen vehicle. The caller was identified as officers made contact with him via telephone. He indicated that a black male subject stole his truck and said that he had to go to the hospital. Officers advised that instead of meeting him at the residence, they were going to ride by the hospital to see if his vehicle could have been located. While speaking with him, dispatch advised about the shooting victim arriving at the ER at the case area of Winsboro County. He heard the radio transition as he was being questioned about the location of his car being at the hospital. Officers asked him how did Mr. Chandler came to be in possession of his vehicle and he stated that he was returning from work and pulled up at his residence, got outside of his vehicle to check his mail. He said that that's when the black male subject ran up to him, hopped in his truck and uttered something about being shot and having to go to the hospital. He stated the subject then sped off in his truck. He stated he did not know the subject that stole his truck. The truck was described as a gray in color, 1999 Chevrolet Silverado pickup truck, bearing tag number 5981KN. The truck, according to the owner, was in very bad shape aesthetically and had an NFL red skin sticker on the back. On June 6th, the very next day, showing a photo lineup. He said that he would be able to identify the person that stole his car. When he was showing the photo lineup, he was able to identify Mr. Deshaun Chandler as the person who had stolen his vehicle. So was Mr. Chandler shot? He was, he was not shot, Your Honor. He thought, he thought he was shot as he was leaving or going away from the scene. There were shots fired back. He thought he, he thought he had been shot. You got to say that again if you want to direct it. What he said was that as he was running through the woods, Judge, a piece of, I believe, branch, tree branch got stuck in his shoulder, so he thought he had been shot when he arrived on. See, uh, when he arrived on Mr. Mine. Shooting at me? Yes, he was shooting. He was shooting at me. That was the reason I, I fled because he was shooting at me. Okay. Man, all right. And Your Honor, just his um, criminal record back in 2003. He had a manufactured possession of drugs in Schedule 4 and 2014 a forgery charge. Okay. All right. Mr. Barton, what do you want to Yes, sir. I'm Judge. May it please the court. This is Mr. Deshaun Chandler, and I am, his, his wife is right here on my right, and the court allows her to address, uh, or she's allowed to address the court, she, uh, she would. Judge, I guess this boils down to a, a a simple, not a simple, a very escalated situation that was completely uh, born out of a very uh, bad misunderstanding. Mr. Chandler, this uh, is actually a very close friend of Mr. Chandler. They've known each other for 20 years. Uh, there's a famous line from the movie Godfather 2, it's between the brothers, and these were two brothers. And Mr. Chandler believed that Mr. Chandler was engaged in an adulterous relationship with his wife. And he, he, he believed it, he, it was on, he had good authority to, to believe it, but it was, at the end of the day, it was a misunderstanding, and he acknowledged that. And this was a situation that got escalated between two friends of 20 years, where one friend thought the other one was having a relationship with his wife. And, it became very escalated, and a situation has born has come from that. That I believe that both men, if they had a chance to do it over again, would, would certainly do it. Uh, Judge, he is from Newark, New Jersey. Um, he was uh, his birth date says 1984, so I believe that makes him about 38 or 39 years of age. Uh, he does have he did have some priors, but Judge, as you can see, other from 2014 until this incident, he had been a model citizen. He had been a devoted family man, he was working up 
He was claiming he'd been there for about six months when this incident happened. Uh, so this was certainly, he had no intention of, of going, of, uh, attempting to uh, shoot or kill his best friend because he just, it, it was one of those things where he was told something, it was wrong, he, he went, he confronted his friend, and, and things escalated from there. And I know that he deeply regrets it. Judge, as, we, as you've seen, we've got a very heavy roster of a lot of cases. And I believe that Mr. Chandler's case is one that the solicitor and I may be able to resolve, but we will not be able to resolve it in the, in the near, near future, but we will be able to resolve it in, in the future. And based on that, Judge, we asked for a, a bond for Mr. Chandler. He has been in since July. We had attempted to do this hearing, I believe, in August, but um, the victim um, has a right to be here. The victim is not able to be here. And so that's why we're back in front of you today. But he is a married man, Judge. He's been married for seven years. Uh, he does have, so he's a, he's a father, he's a family man. This is a very bad, this is a horrible mistake. But this is, Mr. Chandler's not an evil man. He believed that somebody, he believed that his best friend had betrayed him and was sleeping with his wife. And he, he had a, a moment in time where I believe if he could take it back, he would. All right, let me, let me, I'm about get, let me hear from you. Yes, ma'am, what can you do? Good afternoon. Um, well, a couple of things. Uh, I'm Bradley, and the reason here is because he still isn't comfortable enough to even face, to be in the same room with um, Mr. Chandler. Um, he's right, they have been friends for 20 years, so you would think that with a 20 year friendship, has actually done for him and his family that he would have at least asked if Jimmy slept with the woman and he asked the, this other guy a week beforehand if he had slept with him with her and they argued about it and they talked about it for hours but he with a gun he to get home and then he tried to kill him and we speak about his and he is very active in each of their lives but he tried to not only take from them, but he also tried to take them, take him from our family. He's also active in my children's lives. I mean, they, he is, and he is literally my daughter's go-to. She literally calls him entirely too much whenever I don't even think she should, but she calls him because this is how he is. He takes care of the people and helps people that he can. And so for someone to shoot him down like he is an animal, someone that he trusted, someone that he has done countless things for, someone who sat with us one month prior at my mom, at, because my mom died, he came and sat with us. So I don't, I don't feel like he, and, and let's not forget the fact that they looked for him for quite some time after, because he ran. So he is a flight risk because he's already shown you all that. He's a, he's a flight risk and he, he tried to kill my brother. And we cannot take that lightly. I don't care if he doesn't have any prior. Maybe he does and maybe we just don't know about it. But the fact is, he tried, to, he tried to take this into his own hands. And there's nothing right about that. There's nothing right about that. It doesn't sit well. It doesn't make me comfortable. He know, because they were friends, he knows. We don't know what he will do next. Your Honor, I believe so. Your Honor, I believe all the stuff is reason. No, sir, it has not been turned over. We just recently got all discovery. Okay. But it will be sent to Defense Counsel. And Judge, just a couple of quick things. And Mr. Chandler, if court allows, wants to address uh, okay. the court directly. But um, I do, I, Mr. Chandler has, I think he, at this point in time, because he has no plans at all to, to go around Mr. Singletary, uh, to be around him. He is, uh, we hear all the time about folks in the tennis center making calls out to people to send people by. He has no intentions of serving um, Mr. Singletary whatsoever. Um, he just desires to, to reunite with his wife and his children. And just, I believe that Mr. Chandler is the one who turned himself in. Yes. 
on this. Yes, mm -hmm. I didn't run. As soon as I found out I had a warrant, I turned myself in. I, so I don't know where the running thing came from. He, he fled the scene because yes, he was being shot at. What, what do you know about it? Yesterday old, today's solid gold. Praise God. And I can say that T.Y. sometimes when he calls me, even though he's always happy and jolly, but then every now and then he calls his big sister and he says, Good girl. And I don't sound too good. Y'all know I'm weird. I do things like T.Y. T. We're always doing weird things. Amen. We don't, we don't fit in, do we, T.Y.? Amen. Amen. And we don't wait for things to happen. We make things happen. Amen. Praise God. When you are connected to Faith Believers Church, you make things happen. You don't wait for things to happen. You get up early in the morning and you make things happen. You don't Welcome to T.Y. Christian News, 4th of July version from Polly's Island, South Carolina. Happy, happy birthday, 4th of July, and we got a wonderful parade for you to watch. Just stay tuned for T.Y. Christian News. Billy Jenkinson here on Polly's Island for T.Y. Welcome to Christian News T.Y. I am Mary Tisdale. What's happening here is Waynesburg County Sheriff's Office is cleaning up after people littering in the community. We ask you, if you are littering, or you see someone littering, please stop littering and remind them to stop trashing your community. There are much more important things the Sheriff's Office can be doing on a very hot day like today. Having a clean neighborhood will make it a better place to live in. Please share this video. The facts remain the same. Turn down the base, push that button, and follow us. My name is T. Wow, 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 wow.